crafty people. I have a group of cards for you from the um, Peekaboo Creek Designs uh, Shabby Halloween Kit. And not only am I going to share these cards with you, but I'm going to share with you how to make them. So let's start with this easel card. So super cute. This kit is phenomenal for paper piecing and all kinds of, of projects. So you can see the dimension that I added um, as I fussy cut and paper pieced this house. And then um, I turned it into an easel card and I used this sentiment from the collection that says boo. And then I used this pretty sparkly black trim as my stopper. And so when I sell these cards, this card's probably gonna be about $25 because there was a lot of work put into this card. So, there is card number one. Now let's go with um, a Z fold card now. So here is a six by six with a little bit, this, you know, this piece sticks out and of course the witch hat sticks out. So just lots of layering and paper piecing make this card really special without any other embellishments at all. So when you open it up, it opens like this, and then there's more apothecary jars there in the center. And then these fussy cut images also, all from the collection. So this card, both cards actually, can be used as um, Halloween decor on someone's desk, on their vanity, wherever, because they stand up on their own. So you can see how this one stands up, and now you can see how this one stands up. So obviously on this one you could see this is your sentiment area. On this type of card, I made the whole back of it uh, the sentiment area, and I added these really cool spider die cuts. So card number two. Let's go back and we'll do another easel card. So here is my easel card. I paper, paper piece the store. You can see the different layers. I did use glossy accents on the owl's eyes, on the lamp, and the hole in the door. And this one pops up on that same glittery trim. And then I have a pumpkin um, there on the sentiment area. So there's card number three. Um, I'm going to link this kit in the description box down below. So if you're interested in making um, a card for yourself or a journal or a mini album or anything like that, altered anything <laughs> that you want to do for Halloween. Okay, here is my last card. And this is also a Z fold card, but I did this one a little differently. Um, so you can see that it's, it's longer. So this one is like seven and a half inches. This one is six inches. And again, all my layered paper piecing. I did add the pretty sparkly trim. I love the sentiments that she provides with the kit. This one says Hocus Pocus. And then I used this, um, this die in my stash to really highlight it and make it a focal point. When this opens up, we've got that. I don't know what this is. Some kind of jar, really cool looking. And then layered um, teacup. And there's a spider web on the lantern there. The jack-o'-lanterns popped up. Super love it. And then this is the back. So we had a lot more room um, on this back area. 
So I added this large um, jack-o'-lantern die cut. So there you go. If you're interested in learning to make these, stay tuned for the tutorial. And then if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards, they will be listed in my Etsy store. Um, if they're not listed yet, you can email me before they're listed and purchase them individually. These cards will be $25 each. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the tutorial. Thanks. Bye, guys. Happy Scrappy Day. Hey, crafty people. I wanted to do a tutorial for you. First thing I want to do is show you this card. And this is a, uh, what is this? An easel card. <laughs> So, I'll be honest with you, I did all the paper piecing in advance. I'm going to do a separate tutorial on paper piecing, uh, but this is the end result. And I did outline it in black cardstock to give it more strength, because when you pop it up like that, part of it's sticking out past the card, so it needs to... It needs to have strength and it looks better too so that is we're gonna learn this one this one's the easiest so we'll put that aside and you want to cut this little uh, that little piece off your paper that's got the, the writing on it and then you want to cut your paper at six inches and that should leave this at six inches it's a little bit bigger than six inches so just to make it easy and all I did was cut off that little piece so we've got these two pieces so we can make two cards. So then we're going to, okay, that was noisy. <laughs> then we're going to get our two pieces that are six by 12 now. Okay. Six by 12. And we're going to put them on our scoreboard and we're going to score them at three and six. And then you want to fold that. Use your bone folder that comes with your um, scoring board and really score that good so it stays shut. And then you fold this one. Okay. So those are scored real good. And now we have this is our easel card. So, um, let me show you what else I do. So I like to cut all my pieces that would go on the card. So all you would do is cut this piece out um, a quarter of an inch all the way around smaller. So you take off um, a quarter of an inch, whatever this is. So this is six by three. So you'd make this five and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then it'll fit perfectly with your border around it. And then you cut your design paper to go in here another quarter of an inch smaller. Same thing at the bottom here. And then, okay, so let's do that. So we've got this. This one's actually... I don't like it. All right, let's get another sheet of paper. So I got another sheet of paper. This is a, I don't know what, this is probably like 65 pound paper. And this is actually like, um, hopefully you can see 
this is, um, what do they call it, textured, the 12 by 12 that you get at any of the craft stores. And then this is just plain um, 65 pound, I'm pretty sure. So, I guess I should pick up my glue gun that's now on the floor. So the bottom of this easel card is six by six. So we're gonna do five by seven and five by seven. So that fits perfectly on there and you glue it down and it'll have a border all the way around. So this one is two and three quarters by five and three quarters. I don't like how that's fitting. Let me do two and three quarters. Okay. So then there's that. So we're good. So let's go ahead and glue these down. I use fabric tack glue. I'm sure all of you have heard of it. It is um, not a water-based glue, so it doesn't wrinkle your paper. And this is what it looks like. And I buy 12 um, eight ounce bottles at a time. It's like $125, but I go through so much glue that I just like to have like a, a good stock of glue. Okay, what did I just do with my... Okay, so there we go with that one. Now, for this particular type of card that I'm gonna do, um, I'm not gonna put what's called a card topper because um, I want it, I want my image to stick up just like I do with, um, the original card I was making. So you could put a six by six um, card topper on here. You could even do a shaped one or anything, but for this particular type of project, I'm not doing that. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to uh, how I'm going to decorate it, but that is your card base, okay? So, super easy. And now we're gonna make an easel card. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut our 12 by 12 sheet, six by 12, okay? And then, so I've already got this pre-cut. So this is my six by 12 and I'm going to score it. I already did score it, but I'm going to show you. So you score it at three and at six. And that's the same way you start with the easel card. But with the easel card, you flip this piece over like that. The way we're going to do this card is we're going to fold here, the valley fold, and this is the mountain fold and then it folds like this. So then we cut our piece of paper that's gonna go right here. So let's go ahead and glue that on. Okay, 
then this inside piece is the same size as that piece. So we're going to go ahead and put there we go. All right. And I didn't really need to flip that over, but I did <laughs> anyway. It doesn't matter. It's the same on both sides. Okay. And then that glues on. Like that. And then we're going to glue our over here is another six. Uh oh. Well, I didn't glue that on very well. Okay, there we go. So then we have our six by six piece, and we're going to glue it over here. So there's that. Now, we also have this piece here. And this is going to be the piece that pops up. So this piece is, um, this one's actually not, but I'm going to tell you to make it easy, make it 3 inches by 12 inches. And then you're going to score also again at 6 and nine, or you could do it this way. You could do um, three and six. And then you're going to go mountain fold and valley fold. Okay. Then you flip it around, and this piece goes on like this. And for some reason, this is sticking out a tiny bit, so I'm just going to cut that off. I must have been a little off on my measurements somewhere. And I'm going to use this. The small piece is going to go, the small piece is going to go on the big piece. And then this piece is going to go like that. So that when you open it, it goes like this. Okay, so I did cut my pieces to go on here. So this is three by six. So I have my piece cut already, and again, this piece is a little bit too long. And that's just because I must have been off on measurement somewhere. But do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and it just shows you that even though you're following a tutorial. If you make a mistake, there are ways to correct them and it's not a big deal. You don't have to throw everything away. Just adjust a little bit. So there's that piece. Then these pieces are both three by three. So I got our pieces cut to go on there. And it's good to get it all the way to the edge of the paper. Sometimes I like to do this, and then it puts the glue on both. Okay. So here we go. We're ready to... Um, put paper on here. 
So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to print the paper. I'm going to put it on here and then we'll do some decorating. Okay. So I got my papers put on really simple. You didn't need to watch me do that. So now it folds and then it opens. Okay. Now you don't have to put a piece like this on it. You could put, you know, some kind of round something here. Um, and then it could still open all the way. And then that piece that's sticking out, let me, let me find something real quick. So I can, we'll just use this. So let's say we put this, um, cauldron on here. And then when we open it up, it would lay flat like that. Okay. But we're not going to do that. <clears throat> We're going to use this piece that we created earlier, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to put it on is to hold this, hold this closed like that, and put glue on both sides. Leave it folded like this. And you glue it down. <clears throat> Give it a second to dry. And then it pops up like that. So you can put it in the center, which is what I did. You could put it at the bottom. You could put it, you know, in between, wherever you want. But I'm putting this one in the center, okay? Now, I made another one, and I made this one a little different. So you can kind of see how much bigger this one is. And that's simply because... I scored it at three and at five. So this piece in the center is an inch smaller. So that's gonna give us more room on this front piece. And I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit lower. So again, I'm going to hold my piece like this, and that way I know exactly where to put my glue. Pretty important that you want to get your glue all the way to the edge of the paper. Now, I've never done one like this, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> I just thought I wanted to just change it up a little bit. And once you get the hang of these, there are all kinds of ways you can change it up. Uh-oh. Got a little bit too much glue leaking out. Oh, that's because I put, I put glue on this part on the back, I put it on this part. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, don't need to do that. So only on this part and this part. So, yeah, that's going to work too. That's actually kind of awesome. Okay, so I have a bunch of things already paper pieced. Um... Let's see. I am a little bit, got a little bit, a lot going on here. Okay, so I have all these things that I already have cut out. 
and some of them are paper pieced. Most of them are paper pieced. And if you haven't watched my video on that, stay tuned. So here is my door that I paper pieced. And if we were to put that on there, look, look how it looks when it opens. And then we would put, I don't know what we'd put. I guess we could put this, we could scoot it over and we could put the lantern. Um, let's see. We've got the spooky teddy bear. She's just a little bit too big. Let me see. This is a teddy bear mummy. No, she's just a hair too big to go right there. Uh, okay. So we could put the spider and the flowers there. We could actually, if we put the lantern right there, we could put the ghost lady right there. So she's coming up through there. And let's see if we got anything else. We do have the mean looking jack lanterns. And we have the teacup and the lantern and the jack o' lantern. So I think you're getting the idea of how you can use all these fussy cuts and how, I mean, like if we bring this down. Then when it pops up, it's sticking up a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom. Or you can bring it up so that the whole spider is. So let me hold these things. So then it, it opens up like that. And then when it stands up. Because this is not just a card, but it's also a decor piece. Because it stands up like this, somebody could use it to display on their shelf. So, we're not going to do all of that. I wanted to give you an idea of how that would work. Or, let's do... Let's do this. Let's say we do this. And then I have a sentiment that says, Happy Halloween. And then you can put other things, like, you know, you've got the potion bottles. They could go over here, and I'd pop these up a little bit. But so many different ways. And you're going to see when you see all the finished cards. Oh, let's, let's see. Let's do this one. Yeah, I like that one because it's already popped up. And it's got the glossy accents on there to make it look like liquid. So, um, yeah, there we go. We could even use this, which is more potion bottles. You could just put it in the middle. Um, and we've got a little, you know, pumpkin there or you can add these to look like they the shelf continues so many different things you can do with these so there you go I hope that gives you um, some ideas I'm gonna also show you obviously the finished cards I'll probably do that first and then you'll be seeing this video on how to create this Z fold card all right, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it's easier than you expected. Um, super fun. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.